Tutorians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either so if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all please report them or ignore them it is a scam okay let's move straight on with your reading i'm going to cleanse your space hourly so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds let us begin Okay, my beautiful Taurians, so you should still be feeling that energy from that new moon eclipse in your sign, which was all about value um, and how you value yourself. Um, so uh, that actually leads the way to that uh, full moon eclipse in Scorpio. Uh, this is a bonus reading for the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, which is about letting go anything that no longer serves you. So you will have had time with that new moon eclipse in your sign to really reconcile what means something to you and anything that uh, no longer has value in your world you are releasing it with that uh, full moon eclipse in Scorpio okay now this is a message from your guides uh, what you need to know um, regarding this time period and in general uh, so let us see what is going on for you I'm going to get all of your cards first before I do your reading just so you're aware thank you so much great guys great angels what do my beautiful Taurians need to know can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see thank you so much Woo. okay oh no these cards are like my little babies and they rarely go in the water I need the water for scrying uh, but occasionally they do so I'm just going to make sure I um take some time to rescue it properly there um, so it doesn't get damaged okay so we've got um, the one who brings light okay the one who brings light the one who knows thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide my beautiful Taurians what do they need to know okay um, so we've also got the one who flies so you are capable of um, achieving much success in your lifetime um, and your guys I uh, want you to be aware that you have the courage to go after whatever it is um, that you truly want to achieve you've got that tenacity um, we've got the star energy we've got the tower whoa okay um, we've also got the Emperor energy the world card and the death card so there is radical change going on for you in your world at the moment um, and it's a successful one it actually makes space for success for happiness uh, for abundance and um, I feel like you are um, you're, you're leading the way thank you so much spirit guys great angels um, they want the strength card there uh, we've got the Sun Wow you've got so much light in your reading which is really positive here thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guys my beautiful uh Torians, what do they need to know and we've got quite a few cards here at the end we've got the ace of pentacles uh, we've got the page of cups we've got the four of cups and we've got the king of swords so your guides are basically i mean this is the first card the one who knows uh this is a beautiful deck the l key oracle deck there by melanie delon and arwin uh lynch poe and um it normally says she who knows, but my readings uh, are not gender based, so male or female, not a gender specific reading. So I'm calling it the one who knows. And they're indicating here, um, your guides want you to be aware of how much wisdom you have, how much knowledge you've gathered as you've matured in life and taken the journey. The star energy indicates a lot of inspiration. Okay, so I feel like you've got some really great ideas and um, you have the courage and the tenacity to make them happen. You, you live life on your own terms, my beautiful Torians, and um, nothing really gets in your way from achieving whatever you set out to do. And you've had a bit of a difficult journey. Um, they're indicating here that um, there has been some ups and downs. We've got a tower moment here, so that indicates something in your lifetime may have crumbled away, but it was to relieve... It was to relieve you of pressure and to uh, let the light in. So sometimes, you know, our heart breaks so that we allow space to let the light in or uh, we allow uh, healing and empathy to um, shape our 
character. So I feel like you've gone through a very rocky road in life, but it is allowing you to see things with clarity. Um, it says here wisdom, oh wow, it actually says wisdom, clarity, resolution. So you're someone who's very good at finding um, a solution to any problems, and you are someone who instinctively knows what to do. So you're really good in a crisis, for example. You're the sort of person that keeps your calm about you. Of course, when it's a little bit closer to home, uh, then you may have a little bit of anxiety, um, but they're just showing me that you are the sort of person who passes tests quite well. Um, and they're also showing me, um, oh, they're showing me a stepping stone. They're actually showing me in the water, they're showing me a, a little frog that is leaping from lily pad to lily pad. And whenever they show me that image in the water, it tends to tell me that there's a stepping stone sort of moment in your life where you are um, creating your own luck, you're elevating in some way, you're moving forward, you're taking a leap of faith, and it's going to be a secure one. So it's almost like, um, yeah, you, you're, you're, you're headed in the right direction is what your guides want you to be aware of. Um, and you just know, there's a deep knowing here about you as well. Um, so a lot of wisdom, a lot of clarity. I mean, the fact that you've got the clarity card right there and the star, the star basically means, uh, you know, trusting yourself, uh, seeing the way, having a vision. You are a visionary. Uh, so whatever it is you uh, think about, you tend to bring about. Uh, it doesn't mean that you haven't got to back it up with hard work because I feel like you are a very hard worker. You're the sort of person who makes your own luck. But there's something here um, with the star energy that um, you're seeing something clearly as we move towards that uh, full moon eclipse in Scorpio. So, I mean, the fact that we've got the death card there in, indicates that the full moon eclipse is actually going to influence you in a very, very strong way. I mean, it's going to influence everyone, of course, but this is about you and uh, your vision. It is also about hope. I mean, this card is basically a renewal of hope. So they're indicating here that you may have been confused for a while. Your guides are indicating that perhaps you had some question marks in some areas of your life, but now you're gaining major clarity. Now there's a calmness that is coming over you and you can see far into the future. The star energy indicates a dream come true. You can see where you wanna go and you can see how you're going to get there because you've got that foresight uh, about you and that vision. So I feel like you're mixing things up and you're being inspired by life. Also, they're indicating, uh, your guides are showing me how inspirational you are, that actually people around you really look at you and are in awe. They really like admire everything that you set out to achieve because you don't give up on something. You keep going until you achieve it. Now, I do feel like there's some sort of recognition coming your way. Uh, you're destined for great things. They just said you're destined for great things. Um, and this is a, a card of like standing out from the crowd. Now, you, you don't tend to shout. Uh, it's a bit like Scorpio energy. I did a reading earlier. You don't tend to shout about your accomplishments, but I feel like um, your accomplishments speak for themselves. And the star energy indicates success. Okay, a dream come true or a wish. Uh, having faith that you can turn things around, but I do feel like um, you're gonna be in the spotlight for something. Now for some of you, if you've had a calling, uh, if your innate calling is to be in the public eye in some way, uh, or is successful uh, within the public sector, or even a little bit more locally within your community, I see you really standing up. Uh, I really see you having some sort of offer come on in that puts you in that spotlight, just so you're aware. Because they're indicating um, you're, you're just so close to the sun right now. They're indicating you're so close to your goal or your dream. You, you're going to be basking in a lot of success and positivity um, and but you worked really hard to get there okay so they just want you to be aware of that but the the star is like you visualizing the future and achieving it uh, there are infinite possibilities for you to achieve whatever it is you set out to do and the strength card you've got the tenacity the courage to go after that goal and dream and nothing's going to get in your way my guides are showing me how self-disciplined uh, self you are um, and how um, when you make a plan, because you're really good at planning the way, uh, when you make a plan, um, you, you stick to it. Now, um, they're also showing me uh, the full moon eclipse is going to bring major concentration. That's uh, something that um, comes out of that full moon eclipse energy, especially in Scorpio. It's about seeing the pathway ahead and having no blockages in sight. Um, 
you're a very kind person. They're also showing me very compassionate person. You've got a lot of moral uh, virtue. Okay, you lead with integrity. You've got a beautiful big heart. Okay, and you actually extend your love to a lot of people. Um, be mindful of those who um, you may overgive to because they'll keep on taking if you keep giving. And if you're left with nothing left for yourself, then you could lead to burnout. So just be aware of that. The strength card is about this inner calm. Okay, suddenly, as you hit the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, if you've been struggling with anything, you just know the direction to go in. I feel like you're being compassionate with yourself, but you're overcoming any obstacles and you're accomplishing what, whatever it is that is in sight for you, okay? Um, this is also about loving yourself fully. So you may actually take a little bit of time for you um, as we come close to that full moon eclipse um, because they're showing me creature comforts. They're showing me someone, um, you know, setting intentions to make some me time. So uh, very important. Uh, we cannot love another person or extend our care, attention or our uh, offer of help unless we help ourselves first or love ourselves first as well. So just make sure um, of that with that strength card. Now, also, we've got the one who brings light. And as I said, there's so much light in your reading. Uh, we've got the star energy, we've got the sun, okay? Um, and we've also got the one who brings light, uh, Blanche. It says, light, serenity, beacon. Now, Taurus, um, my guides are showing me that because you have a lot of compassion, a lot of people um, may be gravitating towards you for kindness, for solace, um, for healing. Uh, so be mindful, of course. Um, you're wonderfully... Um, supportive of all the people in your your life okay you've got a lot of empathy um but make sure that you're not especially when it comes to love and i'm going to pull a card with that uh, make sure you're not the sort of person that you attract people who are um always broken and you end up fixing like the little bird syndrome you fix their wings and they fly off so just be a little bit mindful of that because you're so warm that people gravitate towards your energy and you're so stable. You know, Taurus, there's an energy of being practical, uh, being grounded, being reliable and dependable, that people come towards you for solace, sanctuary and stability. So um, I feel like um, that can work in your favor, but also it can work the other way when you've got people who are a little bit low vibe or lower vibe. So whether you're in a relationship or not, I feel like it's about you valuing yourself and knowing that You've got so much energy and so much light and so much to give that sometimes you may overgive and leave yourself with less. So just be mindful of that, okay? I'm just going to pull a card. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Uh, you are the bringer of light. Yeah. I mean, the world card in the reverse uh, t tells me that there is some unfinished lesson here uh, with regards to you overgiving. So just be aware of that. Um, the two of swords. Yeah, something perhaps that um, you're going to gain uh, clarity on. Um, because the two of swords in the reverse means you're going to see something that perhaps you haven't seen uh, before, you haven't been um, aware of. Now we've also got the four, sorry, the eight of pentacles is in the reverse. The eight of pentacles in the reverse can be like um, someone trying to repair something with you or their focus really isn't on, um, you know, their focus isn't really on what they say it's on. Let's put it that way. Uh, so someone may have ulterior motives. Uh, the eight of pentacles in the reverse is like, um, it, it can also be a, an energy of perfectionism they're giving me, perfectionism. So they're showing me that you work really hard and sometimes you overwork yourself and um, you know people are attracted to your ideas, uh, to your energy, and they always feel like you're doing so well. Uh, for example, your boss may even give you more uh, because they think you know, you're always passing the tests. People give you more. They give you more responsibility, give you more work to do uh, because you're always the sort of person who will do it um, and do it well. So, and you're a perfectionist. You're a perfectionist. Remember, um, it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to take everyone's responsibilities on. Remember yourself. Okay, they just want you to be aware of that. That's a lesson to be learned that still um, is something that you're still learning. And um, your guys are really proud of your progress so far, but we're all learning along the journey. And we're all guilty of it at some stage, so I'm not here to point fingers at you, but they just want you to be aware of that. But also, you are um, you're capable of much success, and you are a beacon of light. Uh, you're going to feel really empowered over the next four to five weeks, and there is... 
either you're going to be in the spotlight for something or uh, recognized for something within your work field or if you're retired for example it can mean that you know everybody wants to um connect with you uh, if you've got a hobby for example uh, you're really achieving something for you you feel really great about yourself um and We've got the sun here and we've got the, the tower. So in between the light, we've got lightning bolt, which tells me that um, it's in the resistance position. So you tend not to be impulsive is what they're showing me, but there's something here that perhaps you've been resisting, something here that you've been avoiding. Um, and it may be that you're, you've been avoiding standing out from the crowd. You may, may be playing small. Um, your guides are like, uh, sometimes it's okay to shine. Allow yourself to shine. You're lovable. Uh, you're successful. Allow yourself to sort of stand out from the crowd. Because the, the, the tower basically means denial in this position. It's like you got it in the reverse. Um, so uh, I feel like um, there may be a reluctance sometimes to... Um, how can I put that? There may be a reluctance to let go of something that's perhaps holding you back. I mean, it could be that you're shy and that's okay. We all have to learn to find confidence and build confidence. So we're, we're all evolving as we spiritually grow. Um, the tower also can mean that it's been some sort of shock or some sort of disruption along your journey that has caused a major sort of like, um, I want to say a step back a withdrawal. Okay, that's what I'm getting a withdrawal. Or perhaps there's been like a major delay on something and you feel like it's never your time to shine, even if you wanted to. So I feel like uh, there's a, a major transformation that comes, like the tower energy is not a negative card. It actually brings positive transformation. It's a Scorpio uh, Aries card, which is all about um, sort of kind of like destruction in order to rebirth. So it comes with an uncomfortable feeling, but then there's a positive outcome. So the tower basically represents a prison. So if you've been feeling like you've been going round and round in circles in a repetitive cycle, either with somebody or maybe a routine or something at work, um, your commitments perhaps, or your responsibilities, and it just feels like you're not enjoying yourself or you're not finding the fun, because we got the sun card, which doesn't feel lighthearted. Um, you've been feeling a little bit low in the funk. Something's got to change. And there is something occurring around the full moon eclipse for you that brings radical transformation that actually allows yourself to enjoy life a little bit more. You're coming out of a negative cycle with that world card. Um, so basically, there's like divine intervention with a lightning bolt. A moment of clarity could be a moment of epiphany. The sun and the star indicates you see the truth finally on a situation and you allow it to dissolve in some way and dissolve or shed away or crumble. That's what the point of this full moon eclipse is. And it brings you so much positivity on the other end. It's like a breath of fresh air, okay? The, the lightning bolt hits the top of the tower, sets the building on fire to make things uncomfortable. Because if you're sitting on the fence or you feel like you've been going round and round in circles or there's been some sort of limitation in your world, then you're transforming that by letting things, it's almost like you're taking a leap of faith by leaving the burning building. You're leaving the, the, the blockage, you're leaving the tower, the prison behind in order to escape something that in the long term could keep you really, really stuck and unhappy, but you're leaving it behind. You're actually transforming your world by no longer denying it or you're doing something about it. So this can be an awakening. It could be a rude awakening that you've had, or it could be a, a shock to the system. It could also be like something that's opened your eyes, like a sudden revelation, because it is a card that brings major revelation when you've got the star and the sun in, 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 in tandem with this, this card. The sun card indicates it brings light on the other side, truth, positivity. You're the sort of person that you light up a room. They're showing me when you walk into the room, you light up the room and people notice you, but you don't notice that occurring okay um with the sun card it shows me there's a lot of positivity there's a lot of success a lot of joy and there's a lot of optimism on the other side also a building of confidence so i feel like if someone has tried to break down your confidence in the past your guides are saying you're rebuilding okay the sun is the truth it is clarity it is trusting that the universe um, is bringing you joy and becoming aware of um, your confidence or your, your personal growth in order to move towards success. So I feel like this is happiness. Whatever this is that's been blocking that happiness for a while, it's being lifted, it's been shifted. And that full moon eclipse is allowing you to let it go. Now, 
Uh, I will be doing another free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading. I'll let you know how to win that right at the end um, because some people are here for the reading only, some people are here for both. Um, so I I'll let you know all about that. But it all coincides with a little ritual I'd love you to be able to do uh, in this particular month uh, to help you release anything that's been really stagnant. Okay. Now moving on, your guides are telling me about um, your success and how you're elevating. Okay. So it says here, the one who flies. Valaris, dare, do, reach. You'll reach whatever it is you set out to do, okay? Because you have that courage. As you can see, you've got the cur the strength card there, which stands for courage. You've got the inspiration, so great ideas. You're a visionary. You see things through to the end. You're also really original. You, you think outside the box, okay? Um, and I feel like even when there are um, difficult moments in your world, you manage to turn them around. The, the tower followed by the sun indicates, uh, you know, you could have been like given a very difficult challenge in life and still you'll make it a, you know, a joyous outcome. Still you will make it right. You, this came up briefly in the Scorpio reading. Uh, it's like you turn pain into gain or you, um, you, know, you find a way to put a, a negative situation and spin it into a positive because of your hard work, because of your courage and also because of your like visionary kind of skills that you've got. You're very talented, they just said. You're very talented at what you do and um, Spirit wants you to be aware that you're on the right path, okay? Um, now, the one who flies. I see elevation here for you. Um, and it's almost like they're giving me something where perhaps in the past, because um, they're showing me like Icarus, perhaps in the past there was a situation where you felt really um, exuberant and you flew close to the sun and it shocked you. So either you got too close to a person and the relationship um, dissolved or uh, there was a, a, you know, you got close to being successful in a certain area and um, something happened. They're just showing me that once bitten twice shy about something and it may have knocked your confidence in some way. Um, Spirit want you to be aware um, that you're building your confidence back, you're healing from something, okay? And it takes courage and strength to have taken the path that you've taken. And you're, uh, again, this came up in the Scorpio reading, which is about you were not given this journey for no reason. You were given it because you're strong enough to take it, okay? Um, and things do get easier on the other side, just so you're aware. So I feel like you're being daring to do something different. You may shock a lot of people with some changes or uh, transformations that you're making in the next four to five weeks, whether that's um, a new job or whether it is uh, you setting up your own business and being very successful. I mean, it could literally be um, some sort of spiritual growth where you're no longer taking uh, less than you truly deserve and you surprise a lot of people because people have expectation. If they treat you in a certain way all the time, they're going to expect that they can keep getting away with that. And all of a sudden, you're changing the script. You're doing a bit of a plot twist for them and they're like, what? They cannot, I feel like they cannot vibe at the same frequency that they have been. They're being asked to step up in your world or your guides are asking them to step out. So I feel like there's a real positive shift occurring in your energetic sphere. Now we've also got uh, the death card, the emperor and the world. The death card, of course, is an influence from that Scorpio energy. It brings transformation. The death card is all about change, ending old habits or cycles, repetitive cycles, that feeling stuck in like a prison or you know a routine something is changing for you and it brings positive transformation like that phoenix rising from the ashes whatever the change is you are rising from it so it's not a negative surprise or it's not a negative situation it means you're actually moving forward um, because of it you're cultivating your world if you have a look at that uh, little cockerel there it's got a scythe it's actually cultivating that plant cutting away any dead wood or any dead you know deadheading the roses that sort of thing in order to promote better growth in order to promote um, transformation for the positive change there's a, a new beginning here happening for you because we've got also the world card now some of you may suddenly decide you want to relocate or you want to change jobs or you may have a feeling that something needs to change and you make a radical transformation in some area of your life but you know that it's right and your guides are whispering at you from the sidelines that it is right I mean they're just showing me here like if the sun, if you have not felt the sun or sensed the sun in your world for a long time, you're making changes in order to take the clouds away from in front of the sun so that you can see the sun. 
So your intention here, the blockage is the sun card. And, you know, you're removing the blockages to be on the right path towards your happiness. Now, happiness, of course, it starts from within and it sort of comes outwards. Um, you know, um, they're indicating here the more happy you are within yourself, no one will get the opportunity to ever change that. Uh, you've got control over your own personal happiness. No one has the power to uh, influence how you feel inside unless you let them. OK, um, now with the will card, uh, it means there's a new cycle and you're in balance. When you get the will card, it's about being in the right place at the right time to meet the right opportunities or the right people. And I feel like you're either accomplishing a goal, something that you've been wishing for for a long time, something that you've had the courage, the tenacity to keep moving forward towards you're so close. You're so much closer to your goal than you've been for a long time. And I feel like this is signifying accomplishment um, and it's with no regrets okay I feel like well they just said you should be proud of yourself those words just came out you should be proud of yourself um, the world card is also a relocation card so it can mean that you're thinking about emigrating or you're moving it could be a spiritual move or you're um, going on a vacation to um, connect to source perhaps or go on a spiritual retreat or perhaps just a vacation to get a rest because you've been working really hard. Um, the world card is also uh, to remind you that um, you're experiencing life as a consciousness but in a human being's body okay so um, and it's also a reminder that you're having the courage to move through um, a cycle that has been in delay for a while uh, and overcome any obstacles in order to complete that cycle in order to reach that goal so whether it's a lesson um, because I really feel like a lesson that you've been um, experiencing over and over until you learn it you're learning the lesson you've come out the other side you've come full circle also this is about you recognizing and understanding your place in the world according to your prosperity path or your life's purpose I feel like you suddenly know where you want to be suddenly know what makes you happy suddenly know what you need to do next in order to get to where you want to go okay and the Emperor card indicates a plan now this is Aries energy with the Emperor card um, and I feel like this is about your your instinctive um, well yeah it's like your instinctive um, how can I put that you're taking the initiative and you're using your instinct is what I'm getting. Um, and this is about planning. The plan is working, a successful plan. So I feel that this is about your strategy. It's leading you towards success. Now, it's not all about success in life. I feel like there's a lot of personal growth here, but there is success as well, uh, starred for you. But this is something that you've been trying to accomplish and you've not given up on. Now, um, your guides are also showing me that you're the sort of person who raises others up. You give a lot of good advice um, and they want you to be aware that sometimes, and please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, my beautiful Torians, we're all guilty of this. They're saying sometimes you should take your own advice because it's actually very good. They really want you to be aware of that, okay? You have a lot of knowledge. You don't give yourself credit for all the things that you know. Uh, yes, you're instinctive, but you're not the sort of person that's um, like, reckless in terms of spontaneity um yes you do surprise people sometimes and you can be spontaneous in certain areas but you're not reckless is what they're showing me and they don't want you to be reckless at all either uh, but they're just showing me that sometimes you need to take your own advice so sometimes when you're giving advice to other people listen to what you're saying and then apply it to your circumstances uh, but we're all the same in, in that boat my beautiful Torians because we can get, give the greatest advice to another person and when it comes to our own personal circumstances it goes out the window and we're like mm, we, we don't take it um, the Emperor is showing me um, that some of you may actually get some really good advice as well be given some advice that will transform your world and actually shift your perspective and things get easier from there so uh, I would watch out for that it's a friend who really cares about you they'll give you and maybe a shocking piece of advice or a shocking piece of information that brings radical changes but it makes you happy on the other side there is something uh, there, there's something really positive on the other side um, now they're showing me an ace of Pentacles Ace of Pentacles is either, uh, you know, some sort of opportunity that is coming your way that aligns you with success or it, it's almost like it's a marker of you recognizing that you're on the path to success or you're aligning yourself with your goal or your dream. This card, um, my, my guides are saying that your guides are kind of 
willing you on because you're making an impact in whatever area of life you're trying to okay um, also there could be a gift in terms of uh, the material uh, coming towards you financial reward uh, this is gain uh, but I, I feel like it's like no pain no gain you've struggled to get to where you want to go you've kept your dream alive you're holding true to your visions you're not giving up and even the most um, even when you come up against a tower moment, even when you come up against obstacles, you still try to be positive. You still try to be that beacon of light in uh, you know, a storm and you still power on through to achieve whatever it is you set out to do. So your guys want you to be so proud of yourself. And Ace of Pentacles can mean that there's a new job coming on in or a new financial opportunity. It could also be an investment that you're making, um, but it, it could also be a raise or a promotion, something that perhaps suddenly you were not expecting. It catapults you into another type of position, whether it's a position of responsibility um, that, that brings more money, you could be uh, stepping into a leadership role or being a boss, or you could be setting up your own entrepreneurship and you know, you're attracting more success. There's more money coming towards you, um, but it's divinely guided. They want you to be aware that there is a gift, some sort of gift coming towards you, but they're also indicating here that you are a gift. You have so much to offer people, life, love, success, opportunity you give your all because you have the courage to do so you never give up on something um, we've also got the page of cups so there's an offer it aligns with your heart at the grassroots a page of cups is about you know uh, being playful open-hearted falling in love with yourself and your journey first and recognizing what you have to offer think about all the adventures that are along the way you're aligning yourself with what your heart truly desires and the page can be curious about something pages also bring news so I feel like you could be at the start of something something that you love doing whether it's a creative endeavor I mean we've got two energies here so there could be that you are uh, either setting up a separate business or you're having two streams of income in some way but one of them is something that you've longed to do for such a long time um, also they're just showing me how much of your heart and your soul you put into things my beautiful Taurians and it, it you give everything you give everything um, to you give everything to um, achieve whatever it is you set out to you also give everything to your friendship circles and to your loved ones um, now page of cups is also uh, a messenger of love so there can be like um, all of a sudden, um, you know, there is love. If you're looking for it, it could be a divine counterpart. But these readings are not meant to be about love. I feel like this, the energy I'm getting here is about you being encouraged to follow your heart when it comes to uh, your life. OK, uh, also, this is a card of um, seeing your purpose and, you know, putting your everything into uh, learning more about it or you know starting something new but being really like because they're showing me someone who's very hungry for information and I feel like that's you you always like to get all the information before you make a decision on something you think before you act that's exactly why you've got a king of swords there as well uh, we got the four of cups now the four of cups shows me that there's been a lot of sacrifice a lot of disappointment on your journey and that um, the universe is giving you a surprise the four of cups there tends to be a fourth cup that pops out of nowhere because everything that's gone before is feeling a little bit humdrum. So I feel like if you've been feeling unfulfilled, the universe is bringing you something to shake up your world. As you can see, look, it's like a huge geyser or geyser there, um, like um, where suddenly something really just kicks off. I really feel like the catalyst for this is like a tower moment where something changes and all of a sudden it brings something new into your world that really makes you quite happy actually. The Four of Cups sort of means like there's a new opportunity or a new outlook, a new direction perhaps um, that's starred for you. It's the end of an old cycle as you move into something new and your heart is engaged fully with that Four of Cups. I would look out for omens. They're actually showing me, what, what is that? They're showing me something in the water right now. They're showing me, okay, they're showing me like a gold. This is very unique and very distinct. So it may not resonate for everyone, but they're showing me like a gold, um, it looks like a metal, but it's, it's, it's hollow in the center and it's got a harp in it. So it's a gold circle with a harp in the center. Now it could be a logo, an emblem, uh, a harp. I mean, it could be a uh, harp does connect to, um, mythology in some way. So it could be, um, something that's in string, 
intrinsic to your heritage. I mean, it could also be because uh, you could be, for example, Irish. I know that uh, they've got like a harp is a, a symbol um, as well. So perhaps some of you are relocating to Ireland or you're Irish or something like that. Um, but harp, harp is something really magical, mystical, and can also be like your heartstrings. Okay, harp. There's something about that there. I mean, maybe you'll come across this as a signifier because they show me it as an omen. So, I mean, harps, they, you know, they have lots of strings and they tune themselves in. So I feel like perhaps you're raising your vibrations um, and um, maybe you just play the harp. Maybe you've heard a song played by the harp. I'm not really sure how it resonates with your reading, so please take it as it resonates. But they're showing me it as an omen. So this could be a symbol that you come across as you're sitting on the bus or sitting in the car on the freeway. Or it's like a, there's like a, a yellow or a gold ring around a harp, you know, one that you play. So um, that's what they're showing me. So I'd look out for an emblem like that. It may take you by surprise, but it signifies radical change in the positive sense for you. OK, um, and we got the King of Swords. This gives you something really to think about. I'm going to pull a card on this energy just to see what's going on for you. King of Swords is about getting all the facts, analyzing something before you like move forward on it. You're, you're someone who um, you try to find a balance between your heart and your head because your go to energy may be straight to your head sometimes, uh, you know, overthinking things, um, analysis, paralysis. Uh, you're really good at making solid decisions, but you take a while to work things out before you decide on something. Also, the King of Swords can be an international energy and we've got the World card there. So some of you may be thinking about relocating or going on a vacation um, across the other side of the world. Now, the Tower energy, I'm going to pull a separate card on that too. I tell you why, because it keeps looking at me, it keeps highlighting at me. So um, when I did everybody's reading at the beginning of the year for the year, um, April and June, Pretty much every sign had a tower showing up, which told me that there was something uh, worldly, maybe outside ourselves, some sort of world circumstance that um, comes into play in April, June time where um, there brings radical change. Now, of course, there's a lot of shocking things occurring and happening around the world at the moment. But I feel with this energy on the other side, you're prepared for it and you are the sort of person who um, will find um, a way to um, thrive within it, whatever it is, okay? The King of Swords can be your plan as well. Uh, either your plan to step into a leadership role um, or something you've been thinking about for a while, setting up your own business, or, you know, I feel like your analytics, if you're crunching numbers to see if something will work for you, if you're thinking about relocating, I feel like it all works. It all just works out in your favor and you've got the courage to take action on it. Can you please clarify, my beautiful Taurians, the tower energy? Two of Cups in the reverse. So something is leaving your, your your energetic sphere. The Two of Cups can be like separation. Doesn't have to be a romantic separation. So I don't want you all freaking out that if you're in a relationship that someone is leaving you. I get this energy that um, things that do not align with you are leaving your space. Because the Two of Cups at its grassroots, when you take love out of the situation, it means to align yourself with something that you've been trying to manifest or that you've uh, you know uh, been trying to achieve, it is about alignment. And when you got it in reverse there, it's like if it does not align with your intentions or what you see for the future, or if it does not bring reciprocity into your world, uh, you know, we've got friendships, for example, if you're the one who's always helping a friend out and whenever you need something, you, they're never there for you. Uh, you may still keep them in your energetic sphere, but you may not be giving to this situation as much as you'd hoped. Uh, the Two of Cups in the reverse is a disappointment. So you may be still healing from a disappointment, something that um, either kept you on hold or something that was in delay. But on the other side, there's something so much better. Remember, what is meant for you will never pass you by. So I feel like the universe is removing things that are no longer necessary on your path in order to bring you something better. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Cups, you know, this is something better that is coming towards you. And the world card tells me you're coming full circle. You're accomplishing something that you set out to do. I'm just gonna pull one more on that tower. Queen of Cups, yeah. I mean, they're, they're giving exactly the same energy. Queen of Cups is someone who takes care, self-care seriously someone who has compassion for themselves someone who's a healer someone who um you know is comfortable in their own skin and is a really good friend to themselves okay the queen of cups she looks at that cup of um 
it's like a cup of love, but it's like the highest order. It's like a trophy of love, okay? And wonders who is worthy of this? Who is worthy of your love and respect? So I feel like this is about your value coming back into play. So something that disappointed you, I feel like has made you um, sort of start some sort of um, healthy boundary, self-care routine that you're implementing long-term. And six of wands in the reverse, sorry, in the upright indicates success or being recognized for what you've done. So for example, you may let an opportunity go because you feel like it's not meant for you. Uh, it doesn't feel like it vibes with you. So you're taking the courage to say no to something, but you're embracing something that would be better for yourself. And then in comes some more news where you get something to replace it and you're elevated in some way. As you can see, this figure is elevated above everybody else. There's elevation for you in life. And I feel like you're on the right road to success. Six of Wands is a victory. It is about stepping into the limelight. As I said, some of you are gonna to wanna to be famous or you're called to be well known within your community. And I feel like you get noticed for what you bring to the table. You're triumphing here. Uh, this is about you accomplishing whatever it is you set out to do. And I feel this is about you being uh, the influencer. So you are the sort of person who is creating your own luck because um, of your hard work and you are a beacon of light. They keep giving me that you're a beacon of light, okay, uh, in your world. Also, you're really honest. You're so honest. They keep giving me how honest you are. Truth is everything to you. And you, you speak um, only once you've thought truly about what you want to say. So you're very discerning about the words that you use as well. So things like profanity and things like that, they may not vibe with you as you get older. You may be like, oh, you know, I gotta be honest. When I was younger, I swore like a trooper all the time. You know, my, my folks, they were like, oh my gosh, wash your dirty mouth out all the time. And as I got older, I just noticed that the more I cared about me, the more I had self-care, I started being a bit more discerning about my words. I used, I started to think about the words and what they meant to me and what I was truly saying to another person or what I was truly saying to myself, okay? Um, so, because I, I recognize that words, uh, recently my guides uh, sort of indicated words are spellings. They are communication to the universe. You're spelling, you're actually activating something you want to show up in your world. So you're actually um, consciously choosing words that are appropriate for your situation. Now, don't get me wrong. If someone crosses me, all the F words come out. I still got my, my tool belt of profanity ready for action if I need it. You know, I'm not a saint, nobody is. We're, we're all just doing life. None of us come with a manual of how to do life, but I try to temper the words that I use, of course, and actually, as a Scorpio, I tend not to want to go to that space. I tend to take a step back and go, okay, sure, you're right. Whatever you want, you're right. I'm just gonna remove myself from this circumstance because I feel connected to source and I know myself. So uh, I don't need to, this is a battle that I don't need to engage in because it's just a waste of my energy. And as we spiritually evolve, I feel like we all start to uh, become aware of that. That is something that you're becoming aware of, whether it's partnerships, friendships, work scenarios, if you're being taken for granted, if you uh, feel like you've not got reciprocity or you feel that someone sucks the energy out of you every time you, you meet that person or that scenario, you're really looking at it, gaining clarity, you're releasing it, it's gone, okay? So let's move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Uh, they want three here as well. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Trillions? What do they need to know? They're showing me how self-sufficient you are, um, how you don't need anybody when it comes to um, your soul path. You've got yourself in a position where you're really con uh, confident to rely on yourself, especially with that card, self-reliance that's come out there. But they're also indicating um, that, well, they're kind of saying no man is an island. So uh, as humans, it's important to remember that we do need to reach out to others at times as well, to connect with energy, to inspire each other, to love each other, to hold each other, hug, laugh, you know, those things as well. So um, if you've withdrawn recently, I feel like you are feeling inspired or powered up to come back out of your comfort zone and reach back into life and friendships and things like that. Um, okay, so the first card here we got is Snow Leopard and it says self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. 
okay so um, I know that I said you, you're not the sort of person that like shouts about your work and things like that and you do work silently behind the scene but I feel like you're gonna be thrust into the limelight whether you want it or not your work speaks for itself so just so you're aware of the star and the Sun indicates that the spotlight will really be on you in the next four to five weeks some sort of accomplishment recognition people are going to appreciate you a lot more and I feel that is something that is welcome because sometimes my beautiful Taurians, you get taken for granted because of your beautiful, pure heart and your overgiving. Uh, we've also got Black Jaguar, Old Soul. Ain't that the truth? Okay, we got walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Okay, so definitely. I mean, look at that. We've got this circle over here, this golden circle. Um, but they were showing me a golden circle like this, but in the center there was a harp. Okay, so interesting that there's something here with a golden circle on it. I would watch out that for that as a symbol. I mean, maybe even you're going to visit somewhere called the Golden Circle or and there's a harp logo or something like that. There's a connection there in some way. So look out for that. Um, and also we've got polar bear. Now, what's interesting about these creatures that have come up for you in this beautiful deck, it's the Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma, um, is that these animals here, they instinctively um survive and thrive in difficult circumstances and that is the sort of person you are it says here know that challenges make you stronger polar bear mystic have faith when you face adversity take time to rest dream and renew your strength embrace your psychic abilities you carry the shaman within so that is two cards now that mention the shaman okay so if you're very spiritually aware psychic gifts perhaps some that you've not even tapped into. You may have looked at them sometimes and gone, oh, coincidence, oh, um, that's just strange. Um, but be confident that actually things are showing up as omens for your highest good to make you realize that you're connected to source and that actually you have a lot of psychic abilities. You have a lot of sensitivity. Uh, you're not drawn to watching oracle cards and tarot cards for no reason. You're on a path where, um, the power is deep within you and you may even embrace that as you uh, spiritually evolve you may actually go into a mystic um, retreat or something like that where you enhance your skills and your gifts you're tapping into something other especially read right about that full moon eclipse in Scorpio okay I will pay close attention to your dreams and things like that thank you so much for it guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful Torians what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good? Any further messages of what they're meant to see? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please? It's so interesting because Scorpio energy has been very relevant in your reading. Um, that's why I've mentioned it a few times. Oh, wow. You're kidding me. These two cards. Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, this card came up for Scorpio, but something similar came up. There was a mention of a dream catcher in the Scorpio reading and it's showing up for your sign as well. So this is about you being able to obtain your dreams and whatever you set out to do, you're on the right track for that. Um, so the first card here is differences. Differences. You can learn from people who are different from you. Cultural, age, conflict, opposites attract. Okay, so they want you to be aware of that. Uh, that's something that's very poignant um, by learning from others, other cultures or other ways of doing things. Um, very important to enhance uh, our knowledge. You've already come to this lifetime with a lot of wisdom. So uh, I feel like you, you're like a sponge. You absorb, you absorb your surroundings as well. It can only enhance your journey. Uh, we've also got power animal. So this is about using your instincts, your intuition. It says, connect with your spirit animal to carry their wisdom and power. Pets, working with animals, instincts. I mean, some of you may have pets or work with animals as well, but I feel this card really embodies that spirit of you using your intuition or your gut instincts in order to uh, influence your journey and become successful. And if you think about horses, they're very powerful, very graceful, uh, a lot of integrity with a horse, beautiful energy, uh, dependable, loyal, grounded, but also can fast track you, can go straight, you can bolt. And, you know, I just see like winning a race or, you know, winning something. I feel like it was accomplishment there uh, for you. And finally, we've got Dreamcatcher. It says, dream outside the margins and solutions will appear out of thin air. Dreams, signs, aspirations, desires, and ideas. 
you've got the star energy, which means, you know, inspiration. You're a visionary, as I said there. And these will take you to where you want to go. Trust in your visions. Don't give up on them. Don't give up in your dreams because you're, you're nearly there. There's some sort of shift occurring um, that sees you aligning yourself with what you want and accomplishing a goal and being very, very successful. Uh, but as I said, it's not all about success. It can be a personal goal. Success looks differently for everybody. It doesn't always mean finances. Even though you have finances coming on in here, uh, it can mean um, that, you know, you are shedding trauma from the past. And, you know, the universe is sort of rewarding you um, with something you've been trying to manifest for a while because you've uh, been able to let go of something that has been holding you back or blocking you in some area of your life. Um, Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Adels. Can you please guide my beautiful Turians? Okay, so we've got I am a creator. So very important, you are creating your own destiny. As I said, you, you are the sort of person uh, who creates your own luck. You do believe in luck, but you're always so hardworking. You fight for everything that you uh, go after in life. And you're the sort of person who is um, capable of creation, uh, whether it's children if you want to have children perhaps uh, be a parent um, I see you um, creating things to make the, the world a better place but also in terms of goals aspirations projects creative projects whatever it is you are the creator of your own destiny and whatever it is you're trying to let go of or you've been finding it difficult to let go of the card here says I am ready you're ready to release that okay it's time to let it shed uh, from your life uh, also it's time to because um, they just said that's not the only energy that's coming from this card uh, time to um, embrace your spiritual gifts because um, they want you to be aware of that powerful um, intuition you have it goes deeper than just that uh, also we've got I am fearless and that's been coming up in your reading completely, okay? So uh, very important, number 33, when you reduce it, three plus three is six, the number of the lover's card. Um, and that's about, again, it's like the two of cups. It's about aligning yourself with your heart's desire, okay? For some of you, it's love. There may be love coming on in here for you, but I feel like this is about your offering to the universe and aligning yourself with what you truly desire and being given it by the universe with gratitude. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get you some runes before we close. It's gone super cold here, one, two, three. So perhaps um, you've gone super cold as well. I'm not sure why it's gone so cold. Um, they're actually showing me a spear, a spear. So either someone is, a spear tends to mean like there's a target. You're hitting your target or focus on something. Um, that you want to achieve or something like that. A spear or an arrow tends to mean like target. So I feel like you're right on target or there's something here that you're focusing on that you will be right on target. Uh, I mean, not unless you can literally see a spear as you're listening to this reading, although it, not many people would have spears. Um, so um, yeah, please take it as it resonates. I mean, oh wow. They just asked me to look at the King of Swords. There is actually, they showed me a spear in the water, but there's actually a King of Swords. There's a spear that's coming out of this King of Swords head. So that's about ideas. It's about negotiating better deals. Uh, it's also about, you know, valuing yourself and getting what you truly deserve. Uh, it's about being rational, making a decision, thinking about something, planning something, analyzing it before you take action on it because swords are all about action. Uh, as well as wands, but I feel like this is some idea that you've got. Be fearless, go for it. You can accomplish it. Uh, now I'm just going to get your um, your runes. So one moment, please. Oh wow! <laughs> I like to touch it and feel the energy before I actually show it to you or even look at it myself. And we've got ambition. Okay, this is the light. This is a breakthrough. So it's really interesting that you're getting this, uh, you know, this uh, ruin connects to day, okay, about light and growth, personal growth, having a breakthrough here, uh, whether it's a, a, a conscious breakthrough or it's some sort of breakthrough in something that you've been trying to achieve. Um, I feel like light is coming in to illuminate the circumstances and create something really wonderful for you. So whatever, it can even be connected to ambition as in something you're trying to accomplish. There's a breakthrough here for you. Um, huh, my gosh, uh, you've also got victory. 
victory, clear vision. Uh, it seems to be all be about vision, uh, achievement, um, victory, winning, accomplishment. So they're indicating here that you're right on track. Uh, I mean, this is uh, this ruin is the sun. So as I said, this the sun here was in uh, the resistance position. So it's like something that has been delayed or you found that you were confused about or um, you felt let down by, um, it's all turning around. Uh, the sun will shine once more. And finally, we've got Okay, uh, I haven't looked at this yet, but they want me to do this. <laughs> so obviously, uh, the way I'm holding it is not the way it should be. So they want me to do this. So let me just see what that is. Oh, okay. So that is, uh, that, that's wood. That's all about energy. Okay, so finding that motivation, that drive. Um, this is also about knowledge, positivity, lust for life. And facing in the direction of your dreams is what they just said. And facing in the direction of your dreams. So, I mean, all of those, um, I was holding it like that. No, I was, so they wanted me to do that, which means I was holding it like that. I can't, they wanted me to do that. Okay, so I was holding it in the, I mean, it would have been like that. So it wouldn't made sense. It's, it, it's either, yeah, it's either like that or like that. So they wanted it in the positive, I see. So, um, yeah, really positive reading there for you. I hope something resonates for you. Um, if um, you'd like to be with the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do um, is find a, a moment to yourself over the next uh, four to five weeks and write down five things that you want to release, whether it's anger, resentment, uh, trauma. I mean, that's easier said than done, I know. Um, so, you know, you choose what you feel needs to be released from your life um, and I want you to write five of the things down because five is the number of conflict so I want you to um, things that you've been um, out of balance with put them on the list and then find a creative way for you to release it so whether that is you going outside safely to do a burning ritual uh, whether it is uh, you lighting a sage and you allowing the sage stick to burn it away, but make sure it's safe and outside and things are aired. Uh, or maybe it's you, you know, going across town and putting it in a trash can that's far away from where you're at so that it gets removed. Or whether it is you, um, you know, going on a vacation and taking it with you, but releasing it somewhere there. So find a way that really resonates with you to release it. And it shall be so. It shall be, it should leave your life. The energy just leaves. That's all important with this full moon eclipse in Scorpio. And that's why my guides gave this as a competition, um, sort of um, routine or um, ritual, as it were. Um, and in the comments box below, all you have to put in the comments is, I've let it go and now I'm in the flow. I've let it go and now I'm in the flow. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only, okay? Also, if something resonated here for you, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is actually very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurians. Love and light.